Welcome to Wholesome Roots. We're from Finney Farm and today we're delivering bees. And this is Finney. Hi, Hi. Finney. <laughs> so glad that it finally warmed up. I know. I was, I was like, man, I'm, I'm doing stuff yesterday and it was like 58 degrees on my phone here. They didn't mind at all. It was making me a little nervous when the Hold on, it's like, am I gonna be able to do this? Oh, I thought there was a bee. I was like, no way, a bee moved in already. <laughs> it might be checking her out. I'm just gonna set these on there. So you actually open the nuke before you. Just because if, put I, in? if I open it up, the top up, then I'll. And then try to put them in, they're gonna be pissed off. Yeah. Helps a little bit when you stick something in their face. Yeah. People are like, how do you close them up? One duct tape. Yeah, of course. It's a southern thing. I think it's pretty universal. Ryan, step back, please. I'll flat say there are a lot They're, of bees in both They sides. were hitting my hood. So. Mainly that one. So the benefit to doing nukes instead of packages is there's all different stages of brood. There are all different right? stages of brood. You have a queen that is already working with them. With the package, they're going to pull a queen from somewhere. If you've ever seen them make packages, they walk up, there's like a chute, and they walk over with a, a frame of bees, and shake it, and all the bees go down the chute. That's crazy. And so these are already working. You, you have a little bit of honey. None of my hives had a ton right now. Right. I got one that was starving yesterday. Um, you have pollen. You have all drawn comb. Then you have all different stages of eggs, brood, cat brood. So it's gonna develop a lot faster. They say six weeks ahead. I say it's probably more like eight weeks ahead in terms of if you stick a package versus a nuke next to each other. There's so much out here right now, even with all the rain, there's so my bees are already bringing in nectar. Yeah. There's a lot out there. We have there. a lot on our property too. Yeah. It's just a lot of, you know, we let things grow wild. Right, we right. Don't, we don't kill the I'm letting things grow leaf. wild because my tractor's broken. We don't kill the broadleaf weeds in our lawn. Right, we yeah, we don't either. Them. <laughs> so and keep so, those dandelions for the bees. <laughs> and people will tell you this year, or do this with your bees this month, and there is no standard anymore. 
And I learned that last year so because the weather fluctuates. Last year, I pulled my honey supers in May, and I'm extracting honey. And in June, we still had tons of clover. In July, we still had tons of clover, and I'm like, I'm just totally missing. And put them in full sun. You shouldn't have many here because you have just about full sun. Yeah. If you have a little bit, the best, best solution is squishing them and getting That's what I did. You need to see some goats. Sound good? Yeah. So what are you doing right now? All right, now we're gonna introduce the nook into the tin frame. So does it not need to be up on the bricks? Oh yeah, I forgot that. I mean, if you, I mean, if you don't think it needs to be, doesn't necessarily I, have to be. I'm, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four though. Okay. So it doesn't get like off kilter. Yeah, I was a little worried about the stabilization of how I had it. I meant to go get the cinder blocks that the old hives were on, but I never went down there. The biggest, I said the biggest problem I have are wax moths. The biggest problem during the year though. Daddy. Hey, dance. I know they're beneficial for something. So do they mess with the hives? A hive that's not super strong, they will get in and basically try to get a free lunch. Um, is there anything you can do for that? Not really. That's fine. It's a little wobbly, but it's not going to tip over or anything. It's fine. So you're introducing the nook to the tent frame. We're going to introduce, and I like to, that's the reason I like to bring bees to people so they can see them. Yeah. It's kind of weird for somebody to go pick up bees, take them home, and go, hmm, I wonder what that I get when I, I open the package. <laughs> right. So, it's, if I do a lot more, it won't be possible. You stand back there behind Mr. Ryan, okay? What are your goals? I can figure that out there. Yeah, just going with the flow for now. Exactly. Every time I. How many orders are you getting in this year? You are my first two nooks I've delivered. Awesome. So, I feel special. I really did not mark it. I said something last year on the Cowboy County Beekeeper site and more people wanted to know than I had. Yeah. And so, but then I said something this week and I hadn't heard a thing. Yeah. I don't know. So, you know what? I just stick them in a big hive and make them produce honey. Yeah. Okay. So, we might see the queen. We might not. But I confirmed she was in here yesterday. And I have two more tops and bottoms too. So that. The queen is longer right and sometimes. The queen is longer and sometimes it's a different color. Now when I put them in, I like to put them in the same, because they've kind of figured out where the they're at order. in the same order, yeah. I watched and, about three installing nuke videos. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I and, love YouTube. <laughs> and whenever I uh, put them in, I, or install a nook, I Ryan. normally don't use smoke. They're getting the energy. They're gonna be a little... I'm taking a risk here. I. See, this first one is why I use that. Yeah. Alright, so this is our one with... I got cat brood here. I can't turn it over right now with Wayne Holden, but I'm assuming there's different stages of larva, and all of this up here is honey. It's kind of my honey frame. There's just a lot of bees all over this thing. That is so It was really beautiful. hard to see when I was putting them in here because I had so many bees. But you can't... You don't see the queen on that? Uh, I honestly did not really even look. She's probably not on this frame. Right now, I see her. I will point her out. There are some drone um, cells, which is absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that. That to me says that is a very healthy hive. Because they're only going to produce it's drones you know, if they're uh, in a swarm mode. Because they're not anymore. Because I just sometimes it's a different color. I, just, yeah. I took a bunch of resources. It's very interesting. Well, I just took a bunch of resources out yesterday and I gave you the best frames. The way I do mine is I do a five over five. Uh -huh. So out of ten frames, I gave you the best five and the queen. Awesome. So that's why there's some drone cells in here. Because as constituted as a ten frame hive, uh, they were ready to swarm. They are not ready to swarm as a five. So when I got mine last time, he had just put five. Okay, now this is older cat brood. See that? That's what they call a queen cup. They're going to make those all day long. There's nothing wrong with that. You take them out, they're going to put them right back in. So you don't pinch those off? You don't have to, no. Because they're just going to expend resources and make more. I'm going to try to turn this frame over before. 
I remember. Got different I stages of, of root in there. This Whoa, that was close. <laughs> that was a close one, right? Yeah. And they're rebuilding with more eggs. I just had a bee land on my hand. I moved back. I remember how triumphant it felt finding the queen. Yes, I like, oh, there she is. And typically, I don't look for them a lot. I did yesterday to make sure she was in there. Did I already ask? Do you mark them? I don't. Okay. I don't. Like I said, I try to go as natural as possible. So yeah. I don't mark them. Honestly, I think it helps me find them now that I haven't marked for several years. They're so healthy. And what kind are they? These are just but due to the mix. fact that everybody's open breeding, like open mating. Right. No pure anymore, but they're officially Italian. Italian. What I call With Italian a little bit of Russian mutts. or <laughs> they're probably Italian like crossbreeds or mutts or something like that. Most people have Italian. I know everybody talks about Russians and Carniolans and Hey Rose, look at me and smile. Okay, this is uh, <laughs> I, I couldn't see the brood as well as I could yesterday as well as I can now. That's a full frame. That's awesome. Here's something crazy to think about. They say that a full frame covered of cat brood when it hatches out will equal four frames of bees. Oh wow. So one will be four, <laughs> so five will be twenty. So they're gonna get big. That's real what fast. I was gonna say is when we got the package last time, we got it, you know, already basically what you brought, but ten frames. And right. he had said that there were five that he, he had just put in as nice, healthy, you know, starter, and he just let them acclimate a little bit in the ten frames. Uh huh. Um, oh, so you bought whole hives? Yeah. Okay. It, it just the front was just taped. Okay. Um. And. So he had installed a nuke, but let it. The other ones. So this is honey I love honey the way pollen here. looks. Isn't it great looking? Do you know what kind of pollen it might be? Just a bright There's a color chart online there. you can find. Ryan, you want to come? As close as I can. Let me have the camera. All right, I'm going to point over with my Is it thumb. recording? She's right here. There she is. She's long. Oh, she's beautiful. Now, is there a way to tell how old she is, or you just? It's. Uh, I know this one is. She was. They're overwintered, so she was last year's queen. So she's a year. So people say, you know, they only last two years. That's wrong. Some queens last four years. And she's already got. I said there's a place for her to lay. Look in there. See inside the cells in the middle. See the little tiny black, uh, tiny white spots toward the bottom of the frame. Where are we looking at? We'll look at them. Change my hand. Right around here. Okay. See the little, there'd be some a black background and some white spots. Oh yeah, the little tiny babies. Eggs. Little those are babies. eggs and they'll officially hatch out within three days. Cool. And they'll turn into larva. So I'm going to put her in here and get her out of the gray. Staying back, it's been determined that I look like a bear. Bees don't like bears. And I don't have a suit. Yeah, I made them really mad now. Ooh, they're loving that. They're excited. <laughs> oh, careful, the lid's got a bunch. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready to... Oh, yeah. There we go. Now they're good now and they're excited. Super excited. <laughs> so right here, they'll smell that queen. I'll start going in and figuring out where life is supposed to be. I'm 
Might watch your heads. It, isn't it kind of inevitable that you smush a few? Yeah, it is, and you hear that crunch and you're like, it, oh. oh. <laughs> we just let them kind of chill out. What are you smiling about? I got bees. You got bees? I got bees. You need a little bee suit? Yeah. You you want to help mommy with the bees? Yeah. Oh, that's precious. Maybe we'll have to find one on Amazon. Put it on the wish list. Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah? You're excited about having bees? Yeah. What do bees do? They sing in the honey. They what? They sing people. They sting yeah. people sometimes? Yeah, and, and, and what else? They get honey. They make honey. That's right. And these bees will make honey for us. These bees will make honey for us for sure. And what do bees do for flowers? They get honey from flowers. They get nectar from the flowers. And when they're getting nectar from the flowers, they're pollinating them. Yeah so that the flowers will make seeds and sometimes the flowers turn into fruit and make strawberries for us. Yeah. <laughs> you can't take your eyes off of them, huh? You like watching the bees? Yeah. Me too. And also, last time I was watching a video and learning about bees. You were watching a video and learning about bees? Yeah. Yeah. You showed me that video, that was cool. Yeah, like the beehive video. A beehive video, yeah. What do you think, Rowan? It's cool. It's cool? What's cool? The bees. The you bees? looking at them? Yeah. Do they look happy? Yeah. What makes a bee happy? Getting babies. Getting babies? Well, do you think they like flowers? Yeah. What are we going to get from our bees? Honey. Yes. Are you excited about that? Yeah. What did you tell me the other day that you were, what was it? What did you say about the honey? You said that you were so excited to get bees so we could have homegrown honey. Yeah, but and I said I was getting tired of no homemade. Yeah, you, you, got tired, you got tired of store-bought honey, huh? Yeah. You want to have homegrown honey. Because homegrown is better than store-bought in every respect, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You're a smart kid. And I also like the bees because they also think pretty cool, but I don't know why. So you like the bees because they sting people? Yeah. But you don't know why. Well, they only sting if you step on them, basically, or if you touch them too hard. So... Honeybees don't typically sting. We're gonna have fun watching them pollinate our strawberries, though. Yeah. Yeah, but now to we do them? We are growing the strawberries, but the flowers have to open up and the bees have to go to the flower and then it starts to grow fruit after the bee visits. So this is perfect timing because you just saw a flower on your strawberry yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. Stop picking your nose. <laughs> no, I was scratching it. Oh, you were scratching it, yes. Who is that in the bee suit? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a little junior beekeeper? Oh, maybe I should just get me a new bee suit and let him use that. Probably be cheaper. The kids' suits are like 90 bucks last time I looked. All right, so the whole family is pretty excited about this. We're really, really super happy that we put in this pollinator garden last year. You can watch the video for that and made a wonderful butterfly garden that also supplies nectar for bees. Um, come a month from now, this will be covered in flowers for the bees to nectar on. Mm -hmm. But we are even more fortunate that our property is covered in Creeping Charlie because there are bees 
all over the Creeping Charlie flowers <laughs> that are blooming right now. So we are very fortunate to have some natural native pollinators and our own wonderful pollinator yeah. garden to feed our bees. Make the most out of an invasive plant like the Creeping Charlie. <laughs> Gotta look at the positives. At least uh, we'll have some nice uh, honey from that and probably the privet flowers at some point. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't cut those down first. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for joining us on this adventure in our keeping bees again. We're pretty excited. The boys were just babies last time we had bees and little Liam has decided he's gonna be a beekeeper. So <laughs> I might have to get myself a new suit and you can keep this one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I guess that's it. Do you have anything you want to say? You Bye. Know, um, thanks for watching. You know, Drew. We'll see you next time on Love Some Roots. No more Peace. dubs. Peace. No more dubs, Mama. Like, on special occasions, like, just like a little, 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 little bit. Maybe some peppermint or something. I call it egg Oh, oh there we this. go. Oh, I actually I just like egg So watch pocket. this. Oh. Hand oh, stand. Yeah. Appreciate that. Hand stand. Love. Stop jumping! My wife's like, because I want to do a hand. So I'm like, are you serious? And then I'm like, oh yeah, you're a liberal Whoa. European chick. Then I get slapped. Oh, I can do the <laughs> floss. I do the floss on camera. There right, we go. All right, now you're the man. Daddy, okay, let's do a hey, somersault. We really got to go see John play. Let's do okay? a somersault. Everybody, sit down. Wait, do the floss. Rowan, do the floss. Liam, do the floss. Everybody, do it. He's gonna have to go after this, okay? Do your somersault and then he's gonna have to go. Yay! Woo! Watch this! You can get stuck on your head? Oh, you're doing like a donkey kick? <laughs> you doing like a launch pad. I love the socks. They match in color, but they're totally different socks. <laughs> Star Wars on one foot and Minecraft on the other. All right, buddy. Can, come here, I'll help you down. Hey, no, thanks for coming. Here. You're going to go give your friends high five, say, see you, dudes. Bye, guys. Bye. You'll have to come back and check on the bees. Wait, 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 wait. Um, fist bombs are um, more, more cleaner. More cleaner. More cleaner. Work about the Got bacteria. Uh, between handshakes and fist bumps. You